skip six bowl games in a row now um, and getting to to play this one locally. How excited is Louisiana Tech to be here in Shreveport? I mean, extremely. I mean, there was a lot of excitement a year ago when we had the opportunity to go to Hawaii. For these players to have the opportunity to make that trip, a lot of excitement. But I think once we hit the game, the realization that no family, no friends, wasn't a very big crowd there. And for a lot of these guys, this is their last football game. For 23 seniors, this is their last football game in a Louisiana Tech uniform. And so I think the energy right now is as much as anything about being close to home and having family and friends and alumni and everybody having the opportunity to see this football team play again. Uh, this is uh, this Shreveport, Bossier City area. Is, it's a great area, and our players are really excited to be here. In playing a team like Miami, you're getting you're getting a Power Five team to come into your backyard. How how much does that? you know, weigh into things in, in, in the excitement level? Well, our players are really excited about the opponent. I mean, when you start looking at bowls, you're looking at destination and you're looking at opponents. I mean, really, that's what you're looking for and something that's going to excite your football team. Uh, this football team had some very high expectations uh, this year going into it. When we were 8-1 and one, and you start uh, tasting a little bit and seeing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and unfortunately, we weren't able to obtain it. So they feel still feel like there's an awful lot left on the table. There's an awful lot to play for, and there's there's an awful lot that this football team needs to prove and just how good they can be. Uh, going to be an incredible challenge uh, with Miami and Coach Diaz and Coach Baker and so many of the coaches on that staff that we're very familiar with. Great respect uh, for those guys and the job that they do and how well coached that they are. But you also have to look at Miami. It's still the U. I mean, it's still an ACC Power 5 football team that's got great athletes running around. And when you look at their records, sometimes it's easy to fall into the trap. And you look at they lose by three points to Florida. They lose by three points to North Carolina. I mean, they're in every football game and extremely well coached, and they play hard. So it's going to be a great challenge, but I think that's also part of the excitement and energy level for our football team to have the opportunity to be here and play in this game. You guys are playing some pretty good football, too. 9-1 uh, and one, uh, with all your starters, with your with Jamar under center. Um, you got to like the way your kids are playing right now, don't you? I do. I, I really like the leadership of this football team. We had our banquet uh, last night, as a matter of fact, back in Ruston. And just to see the closeness of this football team, to hear those guys get up and talk, uh, to see the bond that's really kept these guys together when you talk about those 23 seniors and the leadership that they've provided. And it didn't even, it didn't necessarily the rah-rah leadership, it's the lead by example. I mean, the way that they focus, the way that they prepare, the way that they uh, get ready to play a football game. I, I really like, I really like the senior leadership we have on this team. I really like the people that are on this team and I'm excited to have a chance to play one more football game with these guys. What do you expecting uh, on Thursday at Independence Stadium? Man, I'm expecting a hard-fought football game. I mean, you look at uh, two teams that are both going to be excited about having the opportunity to be here. Both probably feel like we have still have something to prove, and I think both teams are going to both teams are going to show up and going to compete extremely hard. But it's going to be a great challenge, great opportunity. Looking forward to seeing Coach Diaz and Coach Baker while we're here. Uh, their families, just great respect for them, and really appreciative of the job that they did when they were at Louisiana Tech, and excited for them and their careers and and where they've gone since they've left. So, um, going to be a fun week. Really looking forward to being here. 